keeping this a park and not a prehistoric hunting ground are the fences. Let's see what we can do to improve it. Okay, sir. Get to the top and secure Gaia. I'll stop Gerard. They have my tartan. That's amazing. Hey, Mad. Interesting that they chose this particular tartan of the Clan McLeod. Get your boats here. Good for the whole oh. <laughs> Um... I love this so much. I'm not sure who I'm in danger from. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was kind of perfect. <laughs> Fine. That was very discreet. Master of stealth. Right. Now just a bit more. For Circus Mac Maximus. What was that? There you go. What were you saying to that bird? The bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. I helped defend this grove. I'm not your enemy. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow, I'm really accumulating inspiration. I might as well. I would like to see what she has to say. Seriously? Uh, 
Okay. That's better. God damn it. How did I... Oh. Oh my god. Oh shh. I think it's charging up. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god, these things are so terrifying, and now I'm locked into a cage match. It feels too much like this is finished. It's not at all finished. I've still got so much more to do, but it's coming along so nicely. I really like what is happening with this place. This is the end. Oh! Wow! That was brutal! Holy crap! There we go. Whoa. T-Rexes want to eat. They will therefore wander in. Or they might just chase the jeep. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, that, nope, that, um. Whoops. You have traveled a long way only to die care by carelessly stepping to your death. What a clod. Wow. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to work. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Maybe, Carne, maybe. Okay, Bacon took it out. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> You step on a part of the track which is extremely narrow. <laughs> it wouldn't be so bad except the sudden stop at the end. Now you come with. Oh, and this is the one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Debuff removed. Indecisive swings. I am so confused. Oh, no, no. Ah. That certainly looks like it's being held by rebel scum. What? You're kidding me. Wow.
Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the Library of Lore. How's everyone doing? Aaron, Laura, Greeny, and Stara, Bob. Wow, we've got a fair number of people here tonight. What's going on? Greeny, it looks like you're kind of busy. I can't say I'm terribly surprised, given the time of year. I hope all is going reasonably well. Uh Oh, Christmas party events. Yep. Also not surprising. So... Today is Retro Sunday, and yes, I caved in. We're going on the fact that Dwarf Fortress is technically 20 years old. So we're going to play this game. Negative for COVID, so that just means we have no idea what's causing our symptoms. It is flu season. I mean, it doesn't get as much attention as COVID, but, uh, you know, COVID's not the only thing making the rounds right now. Hopefully it's nothing serious. Not that the flu is not serious. Oh my god. We have millions of creepy crawler remains out here too. What the heck? We also need audio. That sounds better. Only ruled one thing out. Ugh. Do I? I th uh, uh, oh. Okay, I, I do have a garbage jump. It's way up here. I forgot about that. Alright. Okay, fine. Ah, uh, the Cody's dead. Good. suppose we can convince the trader to walk off with all these little creepy crawly corpses. That would be handy. Flying squirrel remains. Weird feedback. Alright, give me half a second. How's that? Any better? Think so. Okay. Well, let me know as you hear more of me talking. To become a bookkeeper. Excellent. Snake bed has been completed, cabinet wooden bin, excellent. Uh, how's the trading looking? No trader needed. Now, I don't remember if we already traded with these guys or not. Mid-autumn, so I'm going to assume that we've already concluded our trading. So let's go back down. Oh, look at this. This is growing stuff really nicely. That's not even our farm plots. Which, actually, our farm plots don't seem to be doing so great. Um... What do we have stock with? Where are our seeds? Here we go. Prickleberry seeds, ratweed seeds, fisherberry seeds. Most of these seem to be surface seeds. We have a lot of cave wheat seeds. 
rope weed, smelt, carrot, sweet pod. Sweet pod are good. Those are deep seeds. Panawa seeds. I think we need to gather more seeds. We have... Oh my jeez. Okay, we... E yikes. Um, let me see. Yeah, we, we can't really do any of this stuff. We have no plump helmets whatsoever. That's really bad for our booze making. Well, I guess we're going to go cave wheat for the time being. All right. Um... Ooh, whoops, how's the... Oh my god. Tell me there's a way to freaking exterminate all these goddamn things and burn the bodies with extreme prejudice. I am so tired of them. Okay. All right, the human bard void ghoul. I remember these guys. And I also remember we lost a fair bit of progress and had to reload the game. So we need to start getting stuff set up. While I was playing off stream today, I learned another new trick to make things infinitely easier. Um Okay, we've got a ton of doors so I can demonstrate. Actually, you know what? Let me redo that. These options are really fun. Keep building after placement is my favorite. We want that on always. And then I'm just going to set this to use closest material because for doors and beds and such, I don't really care what they are made of. So we're just going to pop all these in instead of having to go to each specific option over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. And these all have their doors. Good. These could use doors. Except we don't have any more. That's fine. Now, let's see if we have furniture for these rooms. Okay, so almost. We need four more up here, but these will become good bedrooms. Also learned that uh, you don't have to have everything fully made up for them to use bedrooms. They'll be happier with their rooms if they've got cabinets and chests and things. But that doesn't mean they won't use them if they are lacking a thing or two. I can only imagine they're not going to be terribly happy if they get assigned a bedroom that doesn't actually have a bed. Kind of defeats the purpose. There we go. Bookkeeper cancels butcher and animal needs butcherable, unrotten, nearby item. Let's go have a look at our butchery commands. Work orders. Butcherable, unrotten item. Satisfied for next check. Available greater than zero. Fair enough.
this apparently is the easiest solution to having gazillions of animals running around wild. Possessed by unknown forces. So Ilral is probably going to die again. <laughs> oh my god. I totally forgot about this. Ugh. Now is that... No, there's... to designate a different area for tombs. Actually, maybe we'll just do this. this the mausoleum. Okay. Gonna take them a while to get to that. Oh. Or will it? Maybe, maybe not. care if the weasel is fighting. Wooden bin complete. Merchants are, will be leaving soon. Okay.
Fabok, drowsy, calling coke. I love that they call it that. Sounds awesome. When all other bonds wither, friendship will remain. This is storage. This is going to be for burials. These are going to be tombs. Enoth has become a sheriff. Oh, the pickaxe symbols, those are just dig orders. Right now, this is all solid stone, as far as I'm aware. Uh, the, they're going to pop on here, and they're going to dig all this out, and we'll use these as burial nooks. Yep, exactly. Another Coty. You managed to kill it. Oh, okay. They're starting. Handle Jack, how are you doing? It's good to see you. What's going on? That's quite the emote collection. Uh, thank you very much. Yes. I almost don't know that it needs to be said at this point, because everybody here already knows Greeny so well, but just in case we have people lurking who maybe aren't familiar with Greeny, it's still a real good idea to remind everybody that you should be following Greeny, because he's an awesome friend of the channel and a fantastic streamer. How are things going, Candlejack? It's really good to see you. Ilral Gem Cutter has created Mumzabal, a Rose Quartz weapon rack. He claims it as a family heirloom. Fair enough. Bought myself an early Christmas gift. You got yourself a nice MIDI keyboard? That's awesome, Candlejack. That's gotta be really, really fun. Now, is that to learn to play, or do you already know how to play, or what's the deal? Okay, let's see. We've got a lot of bitumous cool here. We should dig all that out.
Still in the frustrating stage as I have almost zero idea what I'm doing and I haven't done any music production in 15 years or so and technology has changed. That's fair. That's fair. Oh, we also have gems over here. What's ground jaspers? I'm gonna have to build walls in here after we're done. Oh, and stuff here. What's that sard cluster? Let's get that. I want to learn how to play piano, always have. There you go, Candlejack. That sounds like it's going to be awesome. Looked very funerary at one point. Then the coal mining kicked in. Now it kind of looks just mine like. That's okay. We can fix it up. Oh, so this is all just one big seam of coal. There we are. Okay, now that we've got most of it mined... Oh, I spoke too soon. There's a little bit more over here. Uh, I'm going to see if we can go and repair some of this. If I may have your attention for a moment. A multi-year subscriber has just resubbed again. Allow me to welcome you back. Helen Ray, thank you so much for 30... 31 freaking months. That's amazing. How are you doing? It's really good to see you. I hope all is well. Uh, what do we have here, actually, before I start building? It seems like it's mostly dolomite. Dolomite blocks. We don't have very much in the way of dolomite blocks, but we've got lots of just regular dolomite. So I'll go ahead and use that. Then here we have limestone. close that off just yet. Here we have dolomite again.
There's dolomite. There it is. Okay. I'm alive. I'm doing all right, Kaladri. I'm doing okay. Just fixing up. The future home of Dwarven Eternal Rest. Rewatching Scrooge right now. Oh, that's a fun movie. Bill Murray's character is drinking Stoli Vodka and Tab. I don't think I'm familiar with those. Well, I, I remember Tab. I don't think I'm familiar with the vodka. stuff. Make beds has been completed. He's made a thing. Animals become a stray cat. Apparently we have another guy that's really, really good at goods crafting. We've got some masterpieces. This game is ridiculously addictive. Masterpiece Tunnel to Bin. Make wooden bins been completed. We're all good down there. It was addictive when it had ASCII graphics, so I can only imagine now. Yeah, the graphics were only one of the changes, though. They did a bunch of stuff to this game. In addition to having proper graphics now, it's also got redone menus and a whole tutorial thing. Which I'm sure must teach you at least half of 1% of the things you need to know to effectively play the game. Okay, where is coffins, 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 make rock coffin. Amount of back empty coffins is exactly two, or exactly zero. You know what, I'm going to change this. At most one. And can I update this? Let's make it 10, actually. Uh, I think you might be right, my camera froze. Apparently I need to go and look at my 
uh, OBS stuff again. And my USB. I'm just going to go camless for a while. I'll see if I can fix that later in the stream. So I have a question. How do you customize a storage area to exclude one particular resource? Okay, I can help you with that one. Let's say we wanted to go to this particular stockpile and exclude food from it for whatever reason. You can go into custom and then you can click on food and then you can customize things like if you you've got these different categories here so if you want specifically to exclude all fish from it just hit none oh no never mind uh that's wrong <laughs> you can go fish and then click none on that one and then that just goes through and says no to every single type of fish if you want to exclude all food whatsoever then you just go boom now you've got no food whatsoever of any kind not just your fish and then if you want some you can go here and now all of a sudden we've got all of the meat is allowed but nothing else in the food category or we can just go back and put food back at uh, you know completely available no problem my pro my pleasure welcome on in Alan this is actually point five. The ASCII version will be updated once one issue is worked out. That's awesome, Aaron Lore. I'm actually really happy that they're continuing to update the ASCII version as well. I like the graphical version myself, but I'm sure there are lots of people who are really used to it and uh, want to use the original version for one reason or another. And some of those will probably just be because, you know what, they don't really like these graphics and they have a mod that they use with the ASCII version that lets them have different graphics, and that's fine. Okay, so now, another thing that we were gonna look at doing, we are starting to get into more and more conflict. Um, so as soon as I get our burial situation sorted out... I'm going to take a look at that and we're going to try and figure out squads and military and weapons and training and barracks and archery ranges and all that fun stuff. repurpose the oh my god the uh. <laughs> okay unzone unzone remove Oh, actually, remove these two. Come to think of it. Cancel that. I just realized if I ever want these to be smoothed out, it has to be before the coffins go in place. Oh, you know what? We'll just do this row for now, but we're going to smooth all that out. They replace the walls with built walls because I think some of these. Oh, that's limestone, that's fine. Petrified wood? We're not leaving. 
doing that here. That's good stuff. We can make saleable goods with that. one tomb that's three across. That's not a good thing. I've made this mistake before. Start with five, because we don't have that many dead people yet. enough. That's good. Oh, they've already reburied Zephan. There you go. Okay. Oh, and they've, uh, they've decreed that this one is for Ilral. Good on him. After all this time, he will finally get a proper burial. After they left him to rot for so long that he was literally just a skeleton collapsed on the floor. These seams just go on forever. Oh, I didn't even notice this is also coal. Crap. There's so much coal here. I think we reached the end. Okay, so that one's played out. That's good. That's actually really good, because that means I can complete that. So I'm just going to specifically select limestone block for that. I don't want to put this one in just yet, because I want to kind of minimize the chances that they wall themselves in. 
There we are. There's limestone. There we go. Boom. And we're done. Another one that's going on for freaking ever. Oh, we're looking over here. Oh my god, it's still going there too. Uh, I thought it was played out, but no, we got a couple more. <laughs> yes, as far as I'm aware, there's no need for bathrooms in Dwarf Fortress. I'm sure a mod will be arriving soon to take care of that problem. But nope, no urinals. Thank you, Greeny. this okay this might be playing out oh but we have an onyx cluster there so we have to grab that too and there so now we're moving off of coal we have only the one coal wall and we're getting into a bit of a gem deposit which is good we like gems gems make our economy work Hospital zone allows wounded dwarves. Yeah, that's another thing I need to learn today. That kind of, in my mind, it goes hand in hand with learning the military stuff. A hospital zone allows wounded dwarves to rest and receive care and treatment. Hospitals use any beds, tables, traction benches, and containers that have been built within the zone. Hospital will requisition thread, cloth, splints, crutches, plaster, powder for cast buckets, and soap for medicinal use. These will, or medical use. These will be stored within the hospital's containers. You may adjust the desired quantities. Doctors or dwarves assigned 20 of the five doctoring laborers. All beds within a hospital zone are automatically hospital beds where injured dwarves will go or be brought to recuperate. Tired, healthy dwarves will occasionally camp there too if the hospital is close, even if they have their own bed. Yeah, okay. We are going to set up a hospital as well. That's a thing I definitely want to learn. We're going to set up a hospital, we're going to set up a barracks, we're going to set up squads, we're going to set up archery training, and we're going to start a library. Because, of course, we're going to start a library. How could we not? Rock crystal cluster. Oh no, more bitumous coal? Oh my god. It goes forever. Oh, now we've run into the end of the coal, but now we've just got even more gems. Is this it? Is this the end? No, it's not. So we have that. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. We got to the end of that side of the chamber. Now we just have this to focus on.
Can't help but notice they have not moved the body. This is one fancy version of Minesweeper. Oh my god. I still occasionally play Minesweeper. I really enjoy that game. Minesweeper Dwarf Edition, how are you doing, Jessica? It's really good to see you. Okay, not to be too morbid or anything, but I'm thinking if we're going to set up a hospital, it's probably going to be here. too much. Thank you, Greeny. Okay, so they can work on that. Oh, it does look like this is almost played out. Okay, so we are going to have to dig out that and replace it, as well as that. upon you. Masterpiece Petrified Wood Scepter. Cavern Dwellers. Uh-oh. What? Oh, crap. Um, this doesn't look so good.
What are these? Serpent Woman Blow Gunner. She feels vengeful when joining an existing conflict. She's patient but ungrateful. Cavern dwellers, send them back to the darkness. It's a real shame that we hadn't yet gotten started on setting up squads and military and crap. Uh, it is, however, a good thing that we have at least started fortifying. Forbidden. I hope nobody's outside. Uh... Now would probably be a real good time to learn how to do military crap. Actually, an hour ago would probably have been a, an even better time, but we'll have to make do with what we got. Dwarf, Fortress, Wad. Oh, ads are starting soon. Good call, Aranlar. Uh, we will start looking into setting up military in a real big hurry in just a moment. I'm going to go do some ads or some uh, clips while the ads run. So I'll be back in a bit. Oh, whoop. Whoops. No! No! Oh my god! <laughs> okay. I am taking the win, even if I have to redo it. That's all you need to know. Now, you tell me when you're ready, and we'll get started. What? <laughs> um. <laughs> uh. I'm ready when you are. What? <laughs> um. Uh oh. Um. Let's transmit this before I. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> oh boy. Um. It's a good thing I wasn't planning on taking off. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess. That should have been fairly obvious that I needed to wait until he was actually there. God damn it. Hey, who just left in here like Oh, what's going on? That's not how you barbecue. Wow. I am worthless tonight. There we go. That's better. No explosion. What's up? Oh. <laughs> wow. What were you saying to that bird? The bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. I helped defend this grove. I'm not your enemy. <laughs> wow. Okay. 
Wow, I'm really accumulating inspiration. I might as well. I would like to see what she has to say. Seriously? Okay, that's better. That boat went. Ah. What are you looking so smugly self satisfied for? You just failed. And we're back. Okay. So I just looked up the wiki. Apparently, I need to pause the game, go to the nobles menu, assign a militia commander, selecting a dwarf that I don't plan to use for this particular skirmish. Exit and re-enter the nobles screen and I'll notice a new position, militia captain, assign one of the dwarves you do want to use for the skirmish. So I need to figure out who's going and who's not going. And then I've got it open on my phone too, so I'll have to do some more stuff after we do that. Thank you, Anstara. Thank you, Aranlor. Thank you, Greeny. Thank you, Glader. Why was he able to roll for that check three times? Uh, I used Inspiration, Glader. I had saved up a pile of Inspiration, which allows you to re-roll when you want to, if you need to. Okay, so the time has come at last. I guess we need to return to the game first. Game is paused. Let's go noble. We need a militia commander. We don't want to use the sheriff. Why does the name Zon ring a bell? Let's look at this Zon character. Disdain's fairness, not you. Not you. Actually, you know what? For the sheriff, that's a bad thing. For the military commander, we don't necessarily want to rely on fair fights. We might go with Zon after all. Militia commander, Zon, where are you? Welcome to the nobility, sir. Now we have a militia captain position we have to fill. Thank you, Bob. Uh, yeah, that they they stick pretty close to the 5th edition rules for D&D &D later, but that was one change they did make. Normally in D&D, &D, unless the DM house rules it, you're not allowed to stack inspiration. You can have one and then, until you use it, and then you can get more after that. But um, in Baldur's Gate, they do allow it to stack, so you don't have to use it. You can bank it. prone, sickly, maybe not you. Eighteen years old, so very young. Overcautious, high stamina, bashful, sloppy, developed empathy, not envious. I don't understand how somebody can become so obsessed by what somebody else has. Guy 
Dabbling Intimidator. Dabbling Pacifier. Novice Dancer. And he sang Safety Poem. Hammers Poem. I like that. You know, she's very young. I think we might go with her. I think we might go with her. Uh, apparently, Glader. Or at least the safety poem. Sort of the prelude to the safety dance. Okay, so we've got our militia commander and our militia captain. Now what do we need? Open the military menu. Use the up-down arrows to highlight the militia captain and hit create squad. That's labor. Justice. Where the heck did they hide military? See, it says use the M key for military, but that just goes to mining. I don't need squads, I need military. I realize those are related concepts, but I don't have any squads yet. Yeah, it does, Glader. Um, sieges and forbidding. Claim your death items. Claim other dead. Forbid other death items. Forbid used ammunition. Nice, Callan Ray. You can prose if you want to. You can leave your swords behind because your friends can't compose. And if they can't prose, well, they're no friends of mine. That's amazing. Bottom right. Oh, hang on. Oh my god, they hid that so well. Yikes. This is the squad menu. Here you can create squads, fill their positions, assign equipment and schedules, and give specific orders. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate the help. It is recommended that you prepare a squad and get them training as soon as you can, instead of doing what I did and waiting until your fortress is attacked. You have no idea what's lurking out there. Create which squad? Choose a uniform. Um, choose a symbol for the squad.
Adding uniform. I hope I don't try to use all of this. Okay. The inverted Switzerland squad? I was going for the Red Cross, but okay. because that's what the enemy's going to need. We're being attacked for the very first time, Mr. Soggy Ramen, so it's about what you'd expect. The arenas of equaling, no special orders, routine off-duty. Assign a kill order. The soldiers will attempt to kill a targeted creature. I suppose we need people in the squad. Can I just assign everybody? Dwarf Farmer Necromancer. There you go. Imush has become a dwarf hammer dwarf necromancer. Bustuth has become a wrestler. Olan has become a recruit. Nil has become a recruit. Zasset has become a mace dwarf. Vabok has become an axe dwarf. Deller is a recruit and Zasset is a recruit. Oh, where's this? Must withdraw. Who's out here? Okay, we're going to need that hospital up and running faster than I expected, apparently. Where is the hospital? The 
hospital. We might need more than one hospital. This is a lot farther away from the site of most fighting than I expected. Okay, so we got that. I seem to remember being alerted to the fact that beds were available. I'm going to assume we have doors available as well. we have some gems to clear. Now... Let's get back down to where all the fun is. to kill them healthy terrified while in conflict afraid after experiencing trauma healthy stunned annoyed after suffering a minor injury Stack of seven fungi wood blow darts. Olon, Olon has been found dead. He tried to take them on alone. Oh, there's more of them. Uh, Nil has entered a martial trance. seriously injured. I'm not sure we actually have any of our squad left alive. Ustuth is the last remaining.
Plus, we have our sheriff here. Zahn has assumed the position of expedition leader of the Obesient Hammer. So I, wow, population's 22, wasn't it 36 before? Uh, thank you, two and a half minute warning guys. I think they did it. And I think we need a chief medical dwarf now.
well, some kind of victory. And on that note of glorious triumph, sort of, I'm gonna skip over the ads. So get ready for some clips. We'll be back in a moment. Ferengi pack led, my god. Seriously, you can be pack led? Rigelian, Sarian, Tellarite, Trill, Vulcan, and Alien. Wait, what? Alien, as opposed to... <laughs> I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Wanna come? I heard the secret is just some marketing gimmick Stan thought up. That only the gullible and naive would go looking for it. Tell me about Loom. Oh, I'm so sick of pirates asking me about Loom. Get lost. <laughs> What? Okay. I call BS on that. From the Rakata, the new are a spy and must be killed. Do spies normally announce themselves? Oh, this is fun. Okay. Get your boats here. Good for the whole oh. <laughs> Um <laughs> Hey. Hey. That's my tank. I'm starting to see the flaw in my carefully prepared plan here. I think I got him! Oh my god. <laughs> I did! I'm back. Okay, so I think need not that iron pillar. We can make walls out of pure iron. That's kind of amazing. Thank you, Mad. Thank you, Greeny. Thank you, Jessica. hospital. We're also going to need a storage for the hospital. Oh god, are we not done? I thought we were done. I don't see a serpent woman. What the heck?
think they're lying to me. Your suffering will continue forever. Now we'll restart the game at some point. And try again with the benefit of all we have learned. Like, never ever breaking into the deep caverns. Those are probably invaders from the second cavern down. Oh, what did I ever do with this one? That's a dining room. I guess we probably ought to have tables and chairs in there. We don't have tea. Oh, we're doing so good. This is great. This is fantastic. Things are going incredibly well here. Work order. New work order. Make table. Amount of tables. Is that most one? That's fine. That'll work. Unib, would you like to go hunt lizard people? That would be super handy if you would do that. This is truly horrifying. She is frustrated considering the scarcity of cages and chains. She doesn't feel anything after seeing Nil Ringpool's dead body. All the blowguns seem to be forbidden for some reason. I say we loot the heck out of them.
Right, so they are working on burials gradually. Let's see if we have more coffins. I didn't think we were going to be filling this up quite so quickly. It's kind of horrifying. I think we legit are going to run out of coffins before we run out of bodies. Yeah, I kinda had to, Glader. We got attacked. Oh my god. I was kind of hoping we might have a few left empty. Oh, jeez. Wow. Ooh, boy. Makoti has stolen on mating. Wow, how the heck did all of this blood get up here? That's bizarre. Okay, that looks like most of the bodies of our squad are accounted for.
So I think we can stop worrying about the tomb so much and get back to securing the future of the colony. So I think what we're going to do is start digging out into this area over here. And we're going to make our first barracks. Actually means I'm going to have to pause that for a second. Dwarf Fortress Barracks. Let's actually read about it. A barracks is a room designated for the purpose of housing, training, supplying, and otherwise servicing your military. The barracks options define how the room will be used by the squads in your military. A single barracks may serve multiple squads. Good to know. Designating. Uh, we Let's see. Barracks may be defined from a bed, cabinet, container, weapon rack, or armor stand furniture. Dig out or repurpose an appropriate space for the room, then place relevant furniture in the room. Use query to highlight one of the items to press room to designate it as a barracks armory. Resize the room with plus minus to encompass all the planned space for the room. Once you've designated a barracks, you'll notice a list of the squads in your fort in the information pane. This is where you set which squad uses the barracks and how. To do so, select, press Q and select barracks, etc. Et 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 so you can set them to train. Assigned squads will train here. Note that marks dwarves assigned to the barracks will train in melee, including hammering to train their range skill. They require an archery range instead. Sleep. Assigned squads will be housed here, requiring that enough beds be placed in the barracks, one for each squad member. Uh, so we are not really interested in sleeping quarters for the barracks. We are more interested in training. The location of your barracks is a matter to be considered of great importance. Barracks may often be the location where your military dwarves will be training, sleeping, or otherwise performing activities. It's important to consider where you expect your enemies to attack, such as entrances or focal points of your fortress. You may want to build your barracks relatively close to or outside of high traffic areas. Main entrances to your fortress or chambers with traps in them. Planning ahead will allow you to react quicker to an invasion by hostile creatures and save more civilians in the process. Civilians will not sleep in open beds within a defined barracks. If you would like them to do so, simply use one of the beds in the barracks to designate a dormitory. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to need a couple of rooms then. We're going to need melee training and we're going to need archery training. Also going to want to set up a hospital a little bit closer to this area, I think. Oh, what is this? Alice Kennis's Mangled Skeleton. Serpent Man Blowgunner Skeleton. I don't know who that other guy is. Hopefully it's not one of ours. Bizgader's Skeleton. Kinnis and Bizgadir, they are servant men. We don't have to care about them, they can rot out here in the fields. What's this miasma? Oh, I 
think we still have serpent person cadavers out there. Oh, what do we have here? Green tourmaline. So, I have some more information about the LEGO stream we're doing tomorrow. It turns out that the Razor Crest set that I've got contains six bags of bricks. So we're going to treat it pretty much the same way we did Boba Fett's ship. We're going to do one stream per bag. So over the next six streams, tomorrow night and then all next week, we're going to be working on building the Razor Crest. I'm going to assume that it's going to take roughly an hour to use each bag up, although I don't know that the math necessarily supports that. It could be closer to an hour and a half to maybe even two hours per bag, just because Boba Fett's ship had four bags, this one has six bags, but this one also has almost twice as many bricks as Boba Fett's ship did, so the bags are likely to take a bit longer, I suspect. for a bit. limit the Lego building to just Maker Monday. We're going to kick it off on Maker Monday. Uh, then we will resume on Thursday, Friday, etc, etc. And if all goes well, I see no reason it shouldn't, we'll wrap it up the following Monday with a completed build. So we'll just work on each bag once that gets finished off. stuff do they need for training? That's the next question, because right now it's an empty room with some rock in it.
Yeah, we're gonna need some more work jumps too. We need a metal smith. I don't believe we are actually um, you know, capable right now of producing weapons and armor. That's a bit of a problem. Let's take a look at our squads here. Schedule, so I do assign schedule. I did not even realize that Scrooge was produced and directed by Richard Donner. I vaguely remember that. That's cool. Staggered training, constant training. Ready, no orders. Off duty. Kraken, how's it going? My night's going okay. Slightly troubling in Dwarf Fortress. We just suffered our very first attack by Cavern Dwellers. Uh, it... Oh, hopefully we're not getting attacked again. Oh, no, that's much better news. An Elven Caravan has arrived. We'll see if they're willing to trade with us. We have a bit of a rocky relationship with Elves. Unentirely intend uh, intended. Uh, we should be better equipped to deal with them this time. Hopefully. Gem bin. Finished goods. Gem bin. Actually, you know, most of these bars and bins and blocks and stuff. We don't need to trade those. Even if the value's high. Finished goods is good. 
Finished goods, 5,000, I like that. Okay. So yeah, things went a little bit awry. We got attacked. I had to scramble to learn how to use military in this game. And that was less than ideal. Our military was not particularly well equipped and we lost a lot of dwarves. Green tourmaline, clear garnet, garnerite. Spring has arrived. Chief medical dwarf. Okay. Oh, shoot. We have ads in progress. It is time for me to take a quick break. I will be back in a few. Thank you, Aranar. I mean, I don't need to understand everything, but... I can say I'm pr plenty confused. Did a compi just knock my jeep back? What the what happened there? God. <laughs> uh. Oh. <laughs> what do we got? The amulet of lost voices. Speak with dead. The dead hold no secrets from Jurgle Scriveners of Doom. I love. These oh my God. Oh my God. Scriveners of Doom is the best title ever. only mistake was you showing your face. You committed crimes against Skyrim and her people, and it's time to face the Jarl's justice. You taste my well, sword! Well, another maggot. I'm not afraid of my <sighs> Not impressed. Stop. Do not ask me. Thanks, guys. Hey! I have not... I have not looted that, sir. Oh, oh boy. Oh, sorry, guard. I hope they're not hostile now. Ah, uh, crap. It said, don't touch. I warned you. <laughs> <laughs> Ken, did you hear something? For those of you not aware, this is the castle of Daventry from King's Quest. It was probably just the Gators entertaining another Space Quest player. Go back to sleep, Berta. Through a strange quirk of fate, or was it? You have stumbled into a place beyond time, space, and dimension. You have entered the Daventry Zone. That's right, the land of King's Quest. This will not help you now since you are playing Space Quest. Well, I'm not cold anymore. 
I stand corrected. I have loved this game for a very long time. <laughs> nice. Oh, wow. Ferengi pack led. My god. Seriously? You can be pack led? Rigelian, Saurian, Tellarite, Trill, Vulcan, and Alien. Wait, what? Alien, as opposed to. <laughs> Hello. <sighs> that is how you deal with trolls. They look at you expectantly. Note that if Tatcher is looking for romance, she should look no further than her partner. It must be clear to everyone that Eden here is deeply in love with her. Tatcher bursts out laughing. Eden goes bright red. Get lost before I throw you in a cell for disrespecting a magic. Then why don't you take off the ask me about moon button? My grog riddled body is fused with it. I'm more button than man at this point. <laughs> They open. Oh. Rip tech. Well, that was the thing. <laughs> oh my god, what was that physics ragdolling? Holy crap! See, now I'm not like followed you, even though you're only a shell of your former self. You're still a formidable opponent. I can't even imagine the power. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. I made a bite to eat. <laughs> Mm hmm there we go. Thank you. So we are waiting for five items. Which night was that, Greenie? Oh, and thank you very much, Kraken. Yeah, I don't really expect Dwarf Fortress is gonna get much better than that. <clears throat> That's okay. It can do its worst. Every failure is both fun and a learning experience, right? That's how that works, I think. Oh, Fury on the Guards. And the Stolen Cheese. Eric, you can do it. I think we might need more wheelbarrows. You missed a lot, did you? I almost think I'd rather not know. I don't want to know what's in the trailer. I mean, I saw the trailer. I don't want to know the deep breakdowns, though. Alright, let's trade. I think I would rather be surprised 
It actually reminds me a little bit of uh, the conversation we had on the Discord, too. If they do end up introducing Paladin soon, uh, you can pretty much expect that that's the last class I'm ever going to play in Early Access. I'm probably just never going to play Paladin in Early Access because it's the class I am most likely to play as my very first full playthrough when the game fully releases. And I'm not going to want to sort of redo that class. I'm just going to want the full experience with it. Um, shield, probably a good idea. Gauntlets, yes. Gloves, why not? Arrows, for certain. Leaves and fruit. The fact that they put out new spells and abilities was neat, that is cool. I don't mind knowing that. I don't necessarily want the specifics, but it's nice to know they're there. If Boo is hidden, how would we know he was there? <laughs> the lack of eyes. Wow, Erinor. <laughs> yeah, kind of in my head, what's going to happen with Baldur's Gate 3 is when it fully releases, we are obviously going to do a full playthrough and everything. But because it's about a hundred years after the events of the first game and in the or the the first two games rather, and I played a paladin in those, and paladins had to be human in those days, we're gonna play the child of True Sight, who is going to probably be a half elven lass who follows in her father's footsteps as a paladin. Uh, don't know who the mother is. Maybe Irie, maybe Jahira, maybe Viconia. You never know. We'll have to see. And so we'll play through as her. Sword, yes. Spear, sure. Bows, alright. Long sword, yes. Breastplates, yes. Male shirts, yes. Tape, why not? Okay, so we need to give up about a thousand worth. A half-throw paladin would be pretty cool. I don't remember getting along terribly well with Baconia, but she's an elf, so what the heck. It's, you know, conceivable. And it makes the parentage question pretty interesting to discuss. Okay, so these are elf merchants. They are enchanted by your poor ethical works. So we need to avoid anything that used to be alive. Not alpaca. Limestone, dolomite. Scepter. Well, they're elves, but I assume the wing thing probably didn't diminish her lifespan too terribly much. I figure probably still hundreds of years, if not thousands. He lived for less than a week. Wow, Aranar.
friends. Very happy about the trading. Excellent. Hey, we're actually making friends with elves. Amazing. I don't know. Nope. Um, I mean, it's not technically impossible that we could see Khalid, but I'm not going to say anything more. you have expected to see mints? Yes, actually. If there's one character from Baldur's Gate, I would have expected to see it's Minsk. I timed out my Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 playthrough to end around summertime, but I also found that an add-on for Neverwinter Nights, which I have, is basically a reconstruction of Descent into Avernus. Really, Greeny? Interesting. Oh, crap. I just realized uh, we're going to have to deal with that aren't smoothed out. I hope the dead don't mind. With apologies to Greeny, it looks like we are once again out of lumber. While we're at it, kind of seems like maybe we could use a little bit of plant foraging as well. doing we've got good food we wow drink has gotten better seeds are pretty good plants are a bit low it 
Farrah Johnson, how are you doing this evening? It's good to see you. more plants over here. Oh my god. I don't know if we've actually been up this way before. Might be relatively new to us. Oh. Uh, well, looks like our mole problem is no more. It is now an X mole. How goes Dwarf Fortress? We had to take a crash course on military strategy. We got attacked by cavern dwellers for the very first time. We lost a lot of dwarves. Our population used to be around 36. It's now 22. It is pining for the fjords, yes. fallen but how many yet remain let's find out <laughs> very quickly Vera Johnson yes they were untrained they were unequipped they had no idea what they were doing <laughs> it was pretty bad pretty much the entire squad was obliterated in the first assault they took out most of the attackers in their defense but um you know, only one survived on both sides. One attacker, one of the squad members. So I had to reform the squad with a new commander. And it was just this whole thing. So now we've got this... Where is it? Oh, we want to go up. We've got this new tomb area that we have formed. You can't see it terribly well because they're working on smoothing it all out. So, oh. But all these guys, except for the first two, and then all the ones down here. The filled graves are the members of the fallen who defended the fortress. Migrants have arrived. A 
dwarven child, 14 years old, resists sickness, high stamina, poor empathy, poor spatial sense, values stoicism, recovers slowly. I could do without all those creatures and that tangled greenery. She tends to hang on to grievances. She tends to be a, a bit stubborn in changing her mind about things. She is a friendly individual. She is not particularly interested in what others think of her. She can handle stress. She doesn't often feel envious of others. She finds obligations confining, though she is conflicted by this for more than one reason. She is not inherently proud of her talents and accomplishments. She tends to form only tenuous emotional bonds with others. She enjoys the company of others. She generally acts with a narrow focus on the current activity. She has an active imagination. She licks her lips when she's nervous. She scratches her ear whenever she's bored. She needs alcohol to get through the working day at 14 years old. As one does. She dreams of creating a great work of art. Overall, she is untroubled by unmet needs. And then we've also got this guy here. Utok, the farmer. Oh, it's her dad. Competent Mace Dwarf. He is clumsy, bad with words, strong, disdains decorum, inattentive, and seeks harmony. We should all work together. Oh, sorry, did I say dad? It's her mom. She didn't feel anything after seeing a carp's dead body. to slow down and just relax. Oh man, we have a lot of them arriving. Eneth, a legendary cook. Bob. You're so perceptive. Disdains friendship, musical, resists sickness, good memory, good spatial sets. Or kinesthetic sense. Alright. We'll let them arrive. When the elven traders came by, we picked up some musical instruments, I believe. We have need of those. I think we should have some chests. And the stick one? No, we don't have any. Never mind. I lied. Let's make sure we've got chests. Empty boxes. Is that most one? Go ahead and make ten. Hopefully that'll help. Hopefully these people work out. I do have a barracks now, Aaron Lord. We set up a barracks. finish off these bedrooms that we set up eons ago and never did anything with.
The last people didn't survive because they didn't work out. That, well, that's true in several senses. Does this game have situations where, if too stressed out, dwarves can have stress breaks or even attack other dwarves like in RimWorld? I don't know. I'd be surprised if that can't happen, though. I've had a number of dwarves get possessed. That's not quite what you're asking, but it's a thing. When they get possessed, though, they don't seem to go violent <clears throat> so much. Uh, instead, they get a kind of a mania come over them, and then they try to craft some sort of an artifact, and once they're done crafting the artifact, they seem to recover and go back to themselves and go on with their lives, but if they somehow fail to create the artifact for whatever reason, uh, they can die of dehydration because they're so obsessed they just stop eating and drinking. Alright, now let's see what else we've got here. We have magnetite. Are we processing magnetite? Yes, we are. We have hematite. I'm pretty sure we're processing hematite ore. We have gypsum. Can we process gypsum here? Apparently we can do bronze bars from ore. We can make coke from lignite. We can do billin. We can do pewter. Lots of stuff we can potentially do. I wish there was a generic just process any metals. So a lot of our people aren't happy at what's going on. Lore, what has you so pissed off? Drink alcohol. We've got 240 drinks. What's stopping you, buddy? Be with family, be with friends, socialize, stay occupied, be creative. Oh, that's what's wrong. He's in the hospital. He's still seriously injured. And he's unconscious. Okay, we're going to need a specific stockpile here. Ammo, no. Armor, no. Brutches, yes. Splints. Fun fact I just made up. Lasers are made from pewter, named after the pew pew sounds. I like it. <clears throat> I like that a lot.
Crunches, no. Splints, no. Don't mind me, just gotta disable these so they all go where they need to go. There we are. I won't worry about the lower reaches. Let them go where they need to go for now. I'd assume that Dwarven Hospitals would provide beer to keep up a proper BAC, blood alcohol level. Yeah, you don't want the level of blood in your alcohol stream to get too high. That's a recipe for disaster. doing all this stuff. If I remember correctly from what Admiral Bauru said when reading the tutorial of Dwarf Fortress, apparently when in the hospital, dwarves only seem to get water, but you have to bring them water for some reason. After our talk on Baconia earlier, I started looking some stuff up. Okay. Oh, petition. What's up? A guild hall for the Hall of Gorges. The Hall of Gorges has many members in Boat Shell and now requires a guild hall. The location must be built and furnished with the hall designated for a farmer guild. That sounds good to me. Now, if it's going to be a farmer guild, I think we're probably going to put it somewhere on this general vicinity. So maybe we'll actually make it share a level with the hospital. Where's the hospital? Right here. Okay. That puts it reasonably close to the surface. Okay, so let me just look up Guild Hall. Dwarf Fortress Guild Hall. Baconia is referenced in the 2013 MMORPG Neverwinter, along with other Bioware characters such as Minsk Deacon and Linu Lenarl of Neverwinter Night's fame, indicating that she's still alive after the events of the Baldur's Gate series, the Spell Plague, and the Second Sundering, and that she continues to affect the world as of Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition. 
And as to the second, the specific to the player character romancing Meconia making a certain choice at the end of Throne of Ball, the two lovers continue adventuring together until they decide to settle down with Orion's board becoming an important political figure. They marry and have a half grown son together, but after several years, Meconia is assassinated by an agent of Loth. The Ascension mod contains an expanded version of this epilogue, stating that this was achieved through the use of venom taken from Loth's own fangs. Don't betray her, especially not for her sisters, wow. A guild hall is a place where dwarves belonging to a guild socialize, share skills, and entertain with each other. Guild halls are requested by your population after a profession has sufficient members, 10 by default, within your fortress. A guild hall by default requires 2,000 its own wealth and a grand guild hall needing 10,000 to be considered established. Both population and zone wealth requirements can be modified in a modification file. A guild with a guild hall was observed establishing connections with other guilds, but with an as of yet unknown effect. If a guild hall petition has been accepted but has not been built after one year, the agreement to establish a guild hall will be abandoned. Guild halls are de designated locations in fortress mode designated from any meeting area. Upon creation, the new guild hall will be given a random name which may be based on the profession of the associated guild. Uh, it can be renamed. Once the guild hall is set up, you can see its room volume in the location screen, which also tells you if the guild hall is up to the desired standard. When it says agreed to build guild hall, the requirements are not yet met. Okay. I'm really looking forward to them adding adventurer mode. Because there's usually notes on adventurer mode once you get in. And it seems like it's pretty interesting. So we'll do 10 by 10 for the guild hall. You could play a half grown child of Baconia and Countess following the established potential lore. Thing is, I don't really give a damn if I'm establishing or uh, following the established lore. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do regardless. It's kind of extra cool if it happens to follow the lore, but if it doesn't follow the lore, I'm not gonna give it a second thought. I'm just gonna do it anyway. But yes, it is still neat. <clears throat> it is still pretty cool. And I like that she did survive for a good while. It's kind of sad that she was assassinated, although it's not really difficult to walk that back if they choose to do so. They could always say, no, they thought they were successful in killing her off, but she actually escaped because reasons. The assassination is apparently only a thing if you marry her. Well... Then you never know. Maybe they will establish the canon status of her character as alive. I would love to have lots of Baldur's Gate crossover references, continuations in Baldur's Gate 3. There are spells that could help, that's true. Whoa, oh my god. We had 25 population. How are we now suddenly at 44? We've never had a population this large before. Oh my god. We're almost to the point where they're going to start electing mayors. Well, I know that we received a bunch of migrants later, but I didn't think we had gotten that many.
least we made up for all the dwarves we lost and then some. That's kind of cool. Oh god, why are we getting miasma? Who do Oh jeez, what's going on? Kettle Sengdorin's rotting corpse. Yay. Thanks for that. That's that's what we needed. <clears throat> now, my asthma's not going to kill them. It's just going to make them annoyed and unhappy. I mean, maybe if you lock them in a room that they can't escape and fill it with miasma and leave them there for a million years, they might die. Minsk the human is alive, I'd assume that all of them could potentially be alive, yes. Direction. Yep. Let's get a door. I think we should probably have plenty of doors. Next, we're going to designate the area. It has to be a meeting place, apparently, which we then further specialize. New Guild Hall. Or the. They were farmers, if I recall. It's a little ironic given that we really. I don't have much in the way of farming going on. <laughs> The teal seals. I like it. Fancy. Only members can visit if guild established. Meeting place, 200. Next at 2,000. Agree to build guild hall. Okay, so it's not sufficient yet. That's fine. I expected as much. Next, we have to smooth it all out, and we'll give them a nice entranceway. Not quite done yet. Go. Technically, if they knew where to look, and if you looked hard enough, you could find a cleric in the world or worlds, and someone will be able to bring people back to life. Yep. Happens all the time in D&D.
This is an even easier way of setting up what I was trying to set up before. Basically the blood to pet cemetery. Yep. Which I don't think I've ever actually seen. Now that you bring that up. I need to fix that one of these days. I might be wrong about that. I've seen bits and pieces of it, I know. And one of my favorite film podcasts, Film Sack, did an episode on it years ago. I don't know if I ever actually watched it, though. Oh, I don't know if they did a remake. Um, did they? Oh, did they? Oh, that's interesting. I only knew about the original. Or the original adaptation, I should say. Got all these. Let's see here. Okay, so those are all tombs. Let's make these tombs. Hey, Jarek, how's it going? Stephen King holds the world record for the most film adaptations of an author's work. That doesn't surprise me in the slightest. Even Shawshank Redemption is King? Yep, it is. Yeah, I've never been a huge fan of his books. I love his ideas and the stuff that he writes about, but um, his writing style is just not my thing. But I do tend to enjoy the film adaptations of his work quite a bit. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay. Not too into horror, yeah. I don't mind the horror. I just... I've had real trouble trying to read his work. The Eye of the Dragon, I think, is the only Stephen King book I've ever successfully read start to finish. Oh, uh, one and a half minute warning, folks. We have ads incoming in one and a half minutes. So in about half a minute or thereabouts, I'm going to go take a quick break. So we'll have clips running when the ads come around. Uh, if you are one of those folks that has to watch ads, I do apologize. I know they suck. I know it's getting worse, which is getting more and more into the whole ad thing lately. I, uh, I get stuck with that myself as a viewer quite often. But it does really help the stream, so I really appreciate you putting up with it, and I try to do my best to make sure that it's as un unintrusive as possible. So, with that said... We're less than a minute away now. I'm going to kill the audio here. I'm gonna go... Take a break, so we'll have clips running. You're not going to miss any gameplay, and I'll be back shortly. 
Oh my god, so many... What is going on? Why are there so many dead people? Do we still... Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. And this is exactly... <laughs> okay, we're getting a replay of that one clip. This is exactly what happened. Now we have to make our way back. Ridiculously overloaded with all these materials. This is still fine. This is still not a problem. <laughs> Gotcha. Mission. You have a rifle. Why do you run up to point blank range? Really auto drive? Again? I'm okay if they just want to stay there. That lets me regain a bit of magic. I hate you guys. Harold is beating me for Suzerain of Laventa. Irritating. You know, I'll work on Stockholm. He can have Laventa. Trying to deprive me of my... Oh! Oh, damn it, Serana! My god. The shot blasts a new orifice in the side of the junk freighter. <laughs> Unfortunately, your inadequately protected ship is struck and subsequently destroyed in the bottleneck of metallic objects driving to pass through the same relatively small opening. Bastila is a frickin' lifesaver. Okay. A hero 
Oh, I found my own echo. That's amazing. Whoa! <laughs> what the hell was that? Wow. It seems you're not too shabby yourself, so I guess you've earned a reward, newbie. You got five great balls from Blue. Hey, this is not the arrangement I have with you guys. When I shoot, you die. That's the deal. Excuse me, your head is buried inside the floor. I don't know if you're aware of this. Didn't you used to be a used chip salesman? Well, yeah. But I decided to get into a business where unsatisfied customers are less likely to come back and complain. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. Okay, I am back. Monkey Island is great, Vera Johnson. Honestly, Return to Monkey Island is... pretty close to my top of 2022. Like, easily my top three. Thank you, Aaron Lord. Thank you, Greeny. Oh, I guess we probably want audio back again, too. Thank you, Mad. Now, do we have any more furnishings? Can we do tables, maybe? Why do they have no tables? Do we at least have chairs? I'm sure we must at least have one chair. We have three chairs. Honestly, so far, best game for me in 2022 has to be Tales of Arise. I've seen Greeny play a bunch of that. It did look really, really good. That's on my list of things to eventually play. can we put in constructions, traps, military, workshops, display. Needs display object, make it a workshop first. Okay. Well, first let's make a few tables. Do we, oh god, I never, I get confused about which tasks I've assigned in which game. I thought I had already set up tables to be manufactured automatically. Turns out, not so much. Tables. Guild Hall, 
954, not bad. I mean, smoothing out the walls and floors apparently helped an awful lot. Let's do a bookcase. We'll do a coffer, not a coffin. We'll do a pedestal. We'll do a statue. Gonna sit here and try to occupy my mind by watching this. That's a good idea, Jarg. I hope the day goes as not crappily as it can. Never liked this game much till now. It finally looks like something you can look at now. It looks very much in the same vein as RimWorld, for good reason. RimWorld is basically uh, inspired by this game. And it looks like they've taken some of that inspiration and backed it into the uh, graphical elements for this one as well. Well, yeah, but we've already taken care of most of that, Vera Johnson. And we do have more doors and beds, and there's a coffin or two here already. Where did I need doors? Oh, I needed doors here, actually. Okay. box. Okay. Nine hundred fifty four. All of Gorge's ten members. Citizens only. Citizens and long term residents only. All visitors welcome. Do a bookcase, maybe? Can. Okay, so that bumped up the value somewhat. Value 20, this is a chalk bookcase. Uh, I looked it up later. I never really did find a good solution to it, but apparently... It's not something you really need to worry about. It's too small to release miasma, and it'll eventually just harmlessly rot away. I don't love that. In fact, 
fact, I really kind of hate that. But it does seem to work. some of that up and make some more work zones. We've got a lot of population now. I think we can probably do with more than one carpenter and more than one stonemason, especially stonemason. Do another stone worker. I already did that, Aaron Lore, but I have to tell them to use it. That's why I occasionally go around and say I find this rat remains. If I click on the little dump icon, it will take them to the above ground garbage dump that I defined. So they go out and up the mountain a little bit and they dump everything there and they rot away out of sight, out of mind. But there's no way to automatically handle the problem that I can find, other than allowing nature to take its course and just let them rot away to dust. Anybody to use? Work orders can be added specifically for the shop. General work orders allowed. Empty bookcases. Now, oh, I haven't done this. Carpenter has been stung by a honeybee. Lots of masterpieces created. Lots of babies, mostly of animals. Visiting mercenary. The Hall of Gorges of Farmer's Guild has been established. Stuff has been completed. Oh no! Oh, those are, never mind, those are just animals. They starve to death. That sucks, but oh well. Merchants went away probably some time ago. More migrants have arrived. I stuck I struck stuff. Someone's become a stone cutter. No homers. It is now summer. And yet another dwarf has been possessed. Is the remains in a storage that's allowing the corpse? No. Well, I mean, the it, technically it must be allowing the corpse, but there doesn't appear to be a way to not allow those corpses. I already thoroughly investigated that option, and it's a no-go. Plus, this is a known issue that has been plaguing many people. Um, they're just 
doesn't seem to be a really good solution to it. bedrooms, but I don't think I actually made them into bedrooms. No, I guess I did. Never mind. Let's go down. Yeah, here we are. Okay. Okay, well, we get two more bedrooms anyway. Take it. Still no frickin' table. They are, Aaron Lore, and it has zero effect on the issue. Uh, Ixion, it sounds familiar. Smelt hematite ore has been completed. Needs rough cut gems. I guess I should probably take a mining level. Where are we? We have all this bitumous coal, too. There's some gems they can use. I think I did actually look at this at some point. There are many ways to design the layout of bedrooms. Simplicity, ease of designating, efficiency, and aesthetics are all important factors in designing dwarven housing. The ability to modify the design to enlarge and improve red rooms can be important as well. Proximity of the rooms to noise should also be considered. As to size, all a dwarf needs to sleep is a one-tile bed anywhere. However, to be happy, the dwarf wants their own room with a bed and a chest and a cabinet. Oh! They want a chest and a cabinet. Okay. We're gonna have to murder more trees. I'm very sorry, Greeny. Where are 
the murderable trees. can't wait till tree farming becomes a thing. I really want to be able to plant them. It's unbelievably awkward having to go out and just go farther and farther and farther and farther. Table, bookcase. Got the most one. Armor stands. suppose there's any sign that we actually have tables made. I guess what I might need to do is take a look at our labor menu here. Um, stone cutters. Everybody does this. Graver, not every, no, everybody does that too. Hauler, everyone does that. Orderly, everyone does that. Woodcutter, only selected do that. Come on in, Gavatron. One of my axe dwarves got caught without his weapons or armor by a troll. Uh, I gotta tell ya, we had our very first attack on the... Oh my god. We have 50 population, we got more migrants. Uh, we had our very first attack on the fortress earlier tonight. I had not yet attempted to learn how the military works in this game. I had done precisely nothing to get ready. So that was fun. We lost a lot of dwarves beating back the lizard people. Having 50 people is not a terrible thing. It just means that now things are going to start happening. Make wooden bin has been completed. Migrants have arrived. I probably need to put a bit of a rush on getting some of those beds done. I'm probably going to need to actually modify this work order. No, actually, I think we'll be okay. Let's zip back down a bit. Let's go behind 
there. Ah, thank you, yes. Looks like I need to take a brief break to run some clips so that you guys don't have to miss gameplay while the ads are running, so I'll be back in just a few seconds. Well, like a minute and a half. What the hell was that? Very nice. <laughs> wow! <laughs> They're not joking at all. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> there we go. Oop. I love that the jeeps are self-correcting when they flip over. I'm getting a credit. Oh, whoa! Well, that happened. <laughs> Meteorologists are issuing a thunderstorm warning for the coming days. Citizens are advised to stay indoors. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. A thunderstorm is battering the city. Stay indoors until the storm has passed. A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. So this is a colossal size map, which is quite a bit larger than the largest available in the base game. And it is a an island plate style, so it's kind of like tectonic plates that are generated as smaller islands instead of giant continents. That looks good to me, sir. He's got so much reach. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best. Okay. Let's take out the mind flare. I'll help however I can. Okay, I'm back. Thank you. Uh, we have a loom. We beat the rush, everybody. We ordered loom today. Actually, it was a few days ago. There's a way to make specific, like, work orders that are just applied generally across all stations of a type. Okay, 
so that's a chair. Clothing and leather. What do we have here? Leather. When leather is tanned at the tanner shop here, use um use leather tanned at the tanner shop here to make clothing and tools such as bags and water skins. Make cloth into clothing and tools here such as bags and ropes. That sounds like a plan. Have a good night, Glader. Thank you so much for popping in. I do appreciate that. Just a reminder, folks. Tomorrow night is Maker Monday. We're going to be doing our second ever, or we're going to be starting at least, our second ever Lego build. Real Lego build. Like the actual bricks on the actual table and stuff. Uh, last March and into April, I built Boba Fett's Starship across four streams and this time we're going to be doing another Mandalorian build but instead of Boba Fett's starship we're going to be building the Mandalorian himself his uh, his own starship his original starship anyway the uh, Razor Crest so I'm really looking forward to that that should be a really fun build Okay, so I don't see a lot of signs that they're actually using this yet. Military archery target. Guess that helps for this. Weapon rack, armor stand, ballista, catapult. So it's going to work basically the same way that the Boba Fett Starship build worked. What's going to happen is we're going to have... You know, uh, Lego divides their sets up into bags of bricks. And... So last time, Boba Fett Starship was divided into four different bags. So I just built each bag in order until it was done and that would usually take an hour to an hour and a half and then we would switch from lego building to doing uh some kind of gaming and usually uh what we did was we would switch over to doing some lego star wars the skywalker saga was he's going to build the archery target okay 
I don't know what game we're going to switch over to tomorrow, but that's basically what we're going to do. I know that the new set, the Razor Crest set, is divided into six different bags, so it's going to take longer to build, especially because it's like only half again as many bags. It's six versus four. Oh, hang on, what's going on? But it's close to twice as many bricks, so I suspect the bags are going to take a bit longer. Masterpiece tower cap bed. Ooh. That means we have beds available, too. Have a good night, Aranor. So, I don't know exactly where it's going to land on the time scale, uh, whether it's going to take another hour to an hour and a half, it's going to be, if it's going to be consistently closer to an hour and a half, if maybe even each bag will veer a little more towards being two hours. We'll play it by ear and see how it goes. Everybody's so grumpy. Euphoric due to inebriation. Yeah, we can't forget we're still trying to work on that farmer's guild, too. So let's get up there. Would you please frickin' build tables? We need to add stuff to this to increase its value. Uh, add a chest. Citizens that cannot be buried properly can still be memorialized on slabs. Slabs are created and engraved at the stoneworker's shop. Okay, let's have a look, see at how this is doing now. 1,024. Fourteen seventy nine.
What's going on with the statue? Granite statue. Granite statue of an elephant man. This is a well-crafted granite statue of an elephant man. The item is a well-designed image of an elephant man in granite by Udib... There we go. Oh, okay. I can't believe we can't get a freaking table. Oh, we have a crown. 1479. Ugh. How do we do more things? Pet gems, prepare easy meal store, and stockpile. Trust. Regoth, cancel strange mood, went insane. <laughs> Great. Masterpiece tower cap bed. Has gone stark raving mad. Make bed has been completed. Oh, we have another giant mole. Why is... What's going on? Why are we fighting a mole? I don't see a mole. a tunnel tube table. I like that you can specify. Make another table here too. Okay, so it kind of prioritizes the ones you have access to. Make a microcline Actually, no, make a cobaltite table. And then we're going to make a throne. Of diorite. Place a coffer. And I place an instrument. No access to item. Okay. Hey, Hammer, how's it going? Good to see you. So they're working on making stuff. Mm. 
Masterpiece chalk ring. Make rough crafts has been completed. We have more beds done. Cobaltite table. Okay, so we do have that. First, fine. All right. How did that impact the value of the area? Not nearly as much as I thought it was going to. Crap. We might need to do some more statues. Specify image. Related to site. Oh, no. Um, other group. No. My god. Um, specify a new image. Plump helmet. It is an image of a plump helmet. Helmet is cooking. Oh, wait. It is an image of a plump helmet. The plump helmet is cooking. a masterpiece. I'm very satisfied. Your item in bin. What's she carrying? Items.
Okay, so we have wooden chests. Let's see. Got so much going on. But we, but, uh, it says we have ten wooden chests. I don't get it. has been completed. Finished up some work that was satisfying. little focus mode we're trying to get this thing done for little two barrel masterpiece nice uh, we have wrong way we have this room here that they don't consider finished yet we need to get it up to a value a room value of 2,000 I suppose I could try banding it that would be a relatively cheap way of expanding the value. Oh, I might have to modify the permissions on the room, actually. <laughs> just occurred to me only members are allowed in which means only members could actually work on it I'm gonna have to fix that afterwards but for now for purposes of expanding the room one and a half minute warning by the way guys I'm gonna take my final break of the evening my final true break of the evening to go to clips for at least one more ad thing, but I'm going to take a proper break in about a minute, a little more than a minute. And that way, you guys who have to watch the ads, which I very much appreciate, by the way, you don't have to miss any gameplay. So I'm going to go do the break right now, and I'll be back in a few minutes. And uh, yeah, if you need to get up, grab some food or a drink, now's the time. I'll meet you back here in just a few, usually three and a half to five minutes or so. Um,
<laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Apologize for your impending death, Jeb. Oh wait, he's actually climbing. What the hell? Well, so much for that. But that was unexpected. That was unexpected. <laughs> Magic. From a time long forgotten. Remind me not to take a dump in that hole. Do you really have to make jokes? Yeah. It's in my contract. Looks like the water might be too shallow for the water wheel. Uh-oh. Are they hungry? Maybe this is more like Banished than I thought. Oh god, they're out of food. Okay, this is definitely reminding me a little bit more of Banished. <laughs> you step on a part of the track which is extremely narrow. <laughs> it wouldn't be so bad except the sudden stop at the end. Call them silent machete kills, but they definitely don't see all that seem all that silent to me. Multi kill. <laughs> right. Sorry. So how did they catch you? Got hungry. Bought some noodles. I don't even know where to start. Grunt, you apologize to the nice man for setting his car on fire. Fine. I'm sorry for setting your car on fire. Uh, Piper. Are you okay? What the heck? Um... Wow. What the hell? They really are like little head crabs. I'm just gonna leave that live grenade there. I'm sure that won't be a problem. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot. <laughs> Whoops. All right in the dome. I'm right here, sir. And or madam. We are really good at sneak. Why'd you come? Do you kinda have in mind all that happens before? Um Okay, I'm back. Have a good night, Matt. Thank you so much for stopping in. I appreciate it. I realize you've probably been gone a few minutes by now, but I hope you have a great night. Thank you, Greenie. Okay. Now... We need to go and re-edit this.
1800. So I could technically get it to 2000 by enlarging it again, I imagine. That was a pretty significant improvement. But let's see if some of our other considerations are done. All right, throne. One more will do. Do we happen to have a statue by any chance? I forgot. Only members can visit. Nineteen hundred. Okay, what more can we put in here? cabinet. These guys have been in the hospital for a very long time. So what's wrong with them? A lot of world information to save. I guess that's the problem with generating the world at the largest possible settings, with the longest possible history. Hundreds and hundreds of years of history, and locations, and significant historical figures. Okay, now let's take a look at you. How's your health? Ability to grasp is somewhat impaired. No evaluated wounds, diagnosis required, brought to rest in bed. Incredibly tough and very strong, but she is quick to tire. Her fourth toe, left foot, is broken. Fourth toe, left foot, is smashed open. Right shoulder is mangled beyond recognition, and her grasping is only somewhat impaired. That's impressive. Her right upper arm is mangled beyond recognition. Her very thin iris jade eyes are slit. Her hair is incredibly straight. Her medium-length hair is tied in a ponytail. She has a clear voice, her teeth are gapped, her free-lobed, narrow ears are somewhat tall, her dark brown skin is slightly wrinkled, her left foot bears a massive jagged scar, her head is somewhat narrow, her hair is mahogany with a touch of grey.
I guess we gotta start learning about medical care. How's this guy doing? Ability to grasp is somewhat impaired. Motor nerve damage, sensory nerve damage. No evaluated wounds, diagnosis required, no medical history. He is mighty. His right elbow is mangled beyond recognition. His right wrist is mangled beyond recognition. Right. So these guys are basically long-term care residents. Chief Medical Dwarf, Aleph Ibnish. Aleph Ib. Okay. Where, where are you, sir? That would be him. Skills. Novice herbalist. Competent musician, singer, wind instruments, poet, dancer, percussionist, swimmer, instrumentalist, and schemer. Some poems. He's our chief medical dwarf, but he doesn't really seem to have much in the way of medical knowledge. He's becoming rusty as a beekeeper. I guess novice herbalist is the only thing that looks remotely medical in his resume so far. Hopefully he's getting better at that. Weasel blood. Wow. Hey, yay. But wait, it still says agreed to build Guild Hall. What the heck? statue? Maybe an offering place? Guildhall, they did it, yay. Okay. We did it. It's done. It's good. Maybe not the best decorated place anyone's ever created, but it'll do. Okay, so the Farmer's Guild is established. They have their own little hangout. They're happy. Things are good. It's like this stockpile here. Seems to be doing okay. Finished good. Masterful tower cap bin created by Iden Obox. Nothing in it yet, but I'm sure they'll get around to that. Stray Yak Bull Corpse. And lose that and the hair. Uh, 
All right, let's see. Uh, lots of master pieces, rock gypsum, some stone cutter. Why? What? Great horned owl. Overcome by terror? You shouldn't be in here. This is our tomb. Human peddler necromancer is visiting. The guild hall agreement with the Hall of Gorges has been satisfied. Prepared cave crocodile lung stew. Sounds delicious. Some gems there.
interesting to me that it says specifically regular mining. It does make me wonder what other kinds of mining, mining there might be. Great Horned Owl is fighting. You gotta take that owl out. Oop. Ah, a caravan, huh? Wrong way. There we go. Let's see what we got this time. Finished good bin. Oh, that's looking nice. Jam bin. Jam bin. That one. That one. That one. Oh, we're bringing so much crap up now. Okay. Nine items. Feather tree egg yolk. Lovely. more items. I think we probably need more wheelbarrows. Travel times are starting to become a bit of an issue. So all the goods are there. Our broker is there. Let's see what we can do. Flasks are good. Try to get all the instruments that we can. And we're going to grab those weapons and those weapons and those. And the crossbow. They don't seem to be too ridiculously expensive yet. Training axes and spears. Clothing is good until I learn how to make that stuff myself. I should probably figure out how to do sometime soon. Yeah, I don't seem to be fishing too much. I'm 
that's the exit group. Enormous corkscrews. Bookcase, I like it. All right. I pass on most of these gems, I think. They're a lot more valuable when they're embedded, like encrusting finished goods. So let's look at the finished goods bin. Dog leather shoe. Wow. I guess I gotta be careful. Some of this is some finished goods in the form of clothing that I don't really want to sell. Bracelet, value 670. Now we're getting to some of the good stuff. valuable, but for limestone earrings it seems pretty good. Oh, okay. That's unfortunate. I thought this chest was going to have particular good stuff in it, but Abiros Usanked, that's one of the artifacts that I don't really want to part with, unfortunately. Fortunately, uh, we're now at the point where we are working out the profit that the traders are going to earn. So I don't think I have to give up too terribly much more. 
just got to make sure they get a pretty good deal. I'm interested in coming back. there. One more good piece should do it. Like this dolomite ring. Boom. There you go. Excellent. Now what I might end up doing is widening out a section of this entrance hallway and moving our trade depot inside so that we don't get droppings all over the trade table. And it's less vulnerable to attack when we inevitably get attacked by monsters on the surface. The Hammer Dwarf Lorben Gither Bumrek is fighting. Oh, it's a Cody. Oh, it's here. This is a Cody mangled corpse. It is spattered with Cody blood. It is spattered with Cody blood. It is spattered with Cody blood. Doors. But Rigoth has been found dead, dehydrated. Oh no. At least we have tombs prepared. Speaking of.
Okay, we did that. Oh, I apologize, guys. I think I just missed another ad thing. I was doing pretty good for a while there tonight, too. Maybe we need a better tavern. But we're gonna put that down deeper. What are we doing down here? Two chests. Stand. I thought I told someone to make an armor stand. What the heck is this? Steel armor stand. gonna set up and steel breastplates. I have no clue. None whatsoever if we have enough material to satisfy that. But I would at least like some of our blood to have decent armor. Six. Is she just getting set up to do all this iron forging or steel forging? Make steel armor stand. There she goes. She felt gratitude remembering being rescued.
Forged steel breastplate. Okay, so what? Finished up some work. That was very satisfying. She feels satisfied at work. Now, does this mean that we can set up an armor stand by chance? Let's go into a storage room first. about now. There we go. Steel arm stands. What's she doing? Individual combat drill. Oh! They're actually training. What? Dabbling discipline, dabbling observer, dabbling fighter, dabbling wrestler, dabbling striker, dabbling dodger. Okay. Steel armor stand. Excellent. I don't know how to actually get them to use it, but good. And we needed orders to make one more steel breastplate, so let's do that too. Uh, steel breastplate. Go. That should theoretically be enough for the entire squad. Assuming they still have 10 members. If they don't, then it's definitely more than enough. Are you up to, sir? Individual combat drill. Okay, so basically the same level as her, dabbling in all the melee stuff. like she's doing some carpentry stuff which is really good we really need that to be done what is she working on wooden bins oh crap um okay still have a few trees over this way
Prepared pig intestine stew. Someone's living it up. Wow. Okay, how's our stocks looking? Armor. Deal bread. Oh, somebody made a really good one. What's this? This is a steel breastplate. On the item is a rendition of the Salve of Blockades, a well-designed image of a point-cut gem. The image is the symbol of the fence of reputing a dwarven civilization. It is made from turquoise. Oh, that might not be one of the ones that we're making. That might be somebody else's thing that they're wearing. We have a bunch of gems over here. We need to grab these. And that reminds me to come along and grab this stuff too. Now, how are we doing for beds? Let's try that again. Okay, well, we get most of those rooms in use now. be off. Alright, Greeny, I gotta wrap up here in uh, a few minutes anyway.
steel altar. Oh, I can make steel anvils. That's good. Steel book bindings. I like that. Bookcase, die, flask, goblet, knife, jug, mine carts, nest box, pedestal, pot, roll rollers, step ladder, toys, wheelbarrows. Yes, we can. Okay. Siege equipment. Trap components. Make a couple of steel wheelbarrows. Thank you very much, Greeny. Have a fantastic night, and I hope work treats you kindly, no matter how unlikely that might be. <laughs> This week, this month, really. I can still hope for it, right? Looks like we're on our way. We we didn't do everything that I wanted to do tonight, but we did get our hospital set up. We did get our tomb set up way better than I really expected we would. Um, we learned a great deal about how military works in the game. On a related note, and uh, so we've got a pretty good start on our metal industry, our barracks, and. Now we've started getting our actual military ready in the gearing up sense. We've got, you know, it's just a little bit of a trickle at this point, but at least we're starting to produce some armor. We're going to start with some weapons and some tools to make things run a little more smoothly. I think things are starting to look a little bit up for the kingdom here. And this is probably what on earth are they... Why are they dropping all this food in this one bedroom? Stinking up the place. Wow. Anyway, we'll worry about that next time because I've got to find someone to raid, I think. So let's wrap up here. I have a bunch of stuff I have to do to get ready tomorrow. I'm going to have to customize my actual physical stream setup a little bit to make the Lego stream work the way I want it to to get the camera angle that I need to do the overhead shot better than it was last time. I need some bracing to actually make the arm that brings the camera out not collapse under the weight of being so long and so heavy. So 
I have some stuff to figure out tomorrow. But I don't expect it's going to be difficult. So, wish me luck with that. We're going to be starting the Lego build tomorrow, which I'm really excited for. That's going to be a lot of fun. So, while that is getting saved, let me get my awesome list of awesome folks open. I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to building that. I have really missed the Lego stuff. I think we're going to do more of that in 2023 than we did in 2022. We might do some smaller builds. I don't know that they're all necessarily going to be the slightly larger builds we're doing. But we will do some here and there. I'm already kind of eyeing one of the smaller builds I might consider doing relatively soon. Uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter looks like a pretty fun, fast build. Okay, who do we have online here? Not seeing a huge number of people on, actually. I mean, there's there's a fair number of people on. Oh, okay. We have to go fairly far up the list, though. You know what? Ultrasaurus is on. Let's go visit Ultra. She is playing Farming Simulator 22. Let's go see how her stream is going. We're going to go raid Ultrasaurus, folks. I do apologize. It looks like we're going to have an ad starting in a couple of minutes. Maybe we'll get through this fast and you won't have to. Maybe we'll have raided out. All right, folks. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel if you are a sub. If you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch Raid and the Tomb Raid emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own, if you've got emotes from another streamer, if there are other emotes from Twitch themselves that you'd like to use, just please feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear, and it will all be good in my book. So we are going to go visit Ultra. She's a great friend of the channel. We've known her for a few years now. She plays a lot of simulation type games, especially driving games. She's also very into dinosaurs, as the name might suggest. So uh, we love her. She's really, really great. She's been a fantastic friend, and she's a really wonderful entertainer and streamer. So let's get over there and see how Farming Simulator is going for her. I will meet you over there in just a few minutes, and I'll be back here tomorrow night to do some Lego building. And then we'll switch over to another game. I don't know which one yet, but whatever it is, you know it's going to be a good time. We might do some Lego Star Wars. The Oh my god, she's arranging to get smacked by a train. Uh... It's going to be a good time, so thank you so much for making this a really fun and awesome stream. Have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world, and I'll catch you again real soon. Bye for now. Oh my god, no, don't push me off! Oh my god, Serana. <laughs> Lydia. Guys, if you could stop popping up and shoving me to the side, that would be amazing. Thank you. Oh, crap. Uh. Wolf Chow. That's it? Not even one star? I just brought you a damn antimatter bomb on my back, people. Wow.
Bastila is a freaking lifesaver. I don't like your attitude. I'd better teach you a lesson while I bleed slowly to death right in front of you. 